hello everyone and in today's topic we'll cover module 5 fundamentals of uh, prototyping using arduino boards lecture 4 essential toolkit for arduino and its module wise needs <music> Essential toolkit and module wise needs. Majority of operations can be carried out without much of the effort while working with the Arduino platform. That is what most of the people and hobbyists or the engineering aspirants are considering the Arduino and also the beginners also considering the Arduino as choice for their operations. For driving certain loads and high power applications, we may need some additional modules to be interfaced with the Arduino. Definitely, not only the Arduino board is capable of driving all the circuits or all the components or and handle all the kind of uh, sensors, modules and different currents alone. So that we need to have interface different driver circuits or cer certain product protecting circuits in between the Arduino board and the load which we need to drive. For example, if we need to drive a DC motor typically with the low current then it is okay which is typically comes below 5 volt or within a range of 5 volt with a lesser amount of current can be handled. But in case of higher amount of current and voltage one need to have which is typically 12 volt driven motors are available in the market which needs to be used with the proper driver boards because in that case the sinking current may not damage the Arduino pins which could be a very larger damage to the prototyping platform that is Arduino board which is which can cause to the damage to the interface or uh, central IC of your Arduino board. Such boards mostly referred as shields. So the one which is competitively utilized component in this prototyping which are governing the facility to access the higher current loads or provision to interface carried out interface with the different components are called as in shields. So different shields are available in the market for different applications. Example, if we wanted to communicate with the GSM or a GPS that is global system for a mobile or a global positioning system which is found for tracking and mobile application implementation using um, Arduino, we can try and test this application. In that case, one need to have a GSM shield in case of uh, utilizing for a mobile communication application, trial and test and for a tracking and uh, that kind of a positioning system development, GPS shields are preferred. In the this particular slide, we will try to see different shields available in the market. These are very f uh, few of the popular shields I have uh, tried to cover in this tutorial. So the different shields are for a GSM communication, the GSM shields are available. You can see the topmost one is the GSM shield which uh, through which the SIM slot is available. You can see the cursor over here and at the both sides of the board, the connectivity connectors are made available so which can be directly placed onto the Arduino Uno uh, easily can be fitted and complexity will not be occur uh, while working with this both the GSM module and Arduino Uno so easily we can power up the board and load the program other than that if we wanted to drive the motor we are having a motor driver shield this is typically uh, L293 I see driver ICs are available coming up with this particular shield which we can connect on uh, and directly fix with this Arduino Uno board and uh, it interface via this particular connectors we can connect the motor pins or motor wires available 
and establish the communication in between the motor and the Arduino board. So the different uh, high power devices can be isolated easily and the target can be achieved uh, for driving it very smoothly. If one need to carry out uh, multifunctional operations in your project, so in that case the 7 segment LCD or you can say the 7 segment display is also available with this multifunctional shield with the buzzer and few of the connecting provisions are made available to where we can connect the wires. Also the header pins are connected over here and this multifunctional shield are having three additional keys push button keys are available. So the push button key interface also can be performed and seven segment related experimentation and buzzer alarming in which experimentation can be carried out using the multifunctional shields. Also the data logger for a Mega and a Leonardo board is found available with this data logger shield through which we can connect a SD card onto which we can store the data which is acquired from the different analog sensors or camera probably which is need to be get stored for a longer time. So we can acquire the data and store onto this data logger board using inserting the SD card into this particular slot provided for placement of the card for the storage. Other than that to perform the Ethernet related activity and applications development the Arduino Ethernet shield is available through which we can connect the Ethernet cable and achieve the operations and carried out try and test of Ethernet based applications designing easily. In central figure we can find out uh, the Arduino board along with the shield the motor driver shield is available and it is interfaced with the stepper motor, DC motor, typical toy motor and uh, uh, higher weighting uh, servo motors and a small tiny servo motors. These are the mot different motors uh, they have tried to implement in this particular uh, image shown onto the screen. So this is how the different shields are found useful for uh, development of a prototype design. One should have make use of these different sh shields for this operations. Thank you.